Welcome to Yellow Brick Road. I'm Jordan, and today I'm going to talk about Jenk Uger, I guess, endorsing Elizabeth Warren to be vice president for Joe Biden. <laughs> but first, please consider donating to Devin's Journey to Recovery. The GoFundMe link is in the description box. If you have five bucks or more laying around and you want to donate to a charity, you can at Devin's Journey to Recovery. GoFundMe link in the description box. All right. So, uh... Uh, I always, I'm always hesitant when I see, you know, TYT content or them bullshitting or something stupid someone says because I'm, I'm hesitant because it's like, if I wanted to, I could just make, you know, I could just shit on TYT every fucking video and build a subscriber base just off of that. Like, it's that bad now. And it's like, I don't want to do that. I want to, you know what's the big picture man but they just they keep going i can't help it i looked i just found this video randomly on twitter i think uh tyt live was trending so i clicked on it i'm like oh someone said something stupid and of course it's this fucking guy who you know i'm not gonna go full conspiracy and say oh he's funded by the democratic party what I will say is he behaves like he's funded by the Democratic Party. Like <laughs> his goal now, like I saw a uh, an RT interview he did with uh, Larry King, and it's like the goal now is to get Biden elected. That's the new goal now. So like, oh, Bernie lost. How can we get Biden elected? And in this video, he's going to talk about uniting the party. It's like around what? If Biden's the president, who are you going to put in there as vice president that's going to unite the party? Like, whose party? And, of course, he's getting, you know, shitted on for this. So let's let's play the clip. That's such a classic establishment thing to do. Oh, no, it's okay. We found an establishment woman, so it's okay. No, it's not at all okay. It has to be a progressive. And so... You know, I'm sure some of you will find this controversial. I don't find it at all controversial. I think it has to be Elizabeth Warren. Oh, come on, Cenk. Cenk, if you think that Elizabeth Warren is going to unite the party, you are, she hasn't endorsed Bernie Sanders. Like, this narcissistic ego trip that she's on right now is unacceptable, Cenk. It's unacceptable, and people are. It's like, it's like, if you think this, you are, it's like, just say it. The opinion that Jank Uger just said out, like, what is he if he says something like this? It's like, you are a. a... I'll let her uh, figure that one out. Uh, yeah. Surprise, Anna. I don't think it's a, uh, a, a, a narcissistic move or an egotistical move by Elizabeth Warren. I think it's a Democratic Party strategy move. Just like the, you know, Bernie, Bernie can't think a woman can be president. Just like that, the her not endorsing him, also tactic. Her staying in the race when her numbers were not where you would, where she would probably want them to be, still staying in the race. Like th those are all tactics, tactics. I think, and I don't think she's the orchestrator of it. I think she sucks at being corrupt. I think she's terrible at it. So. Obviously, she has she's working for someone that's advising her, right? Even Jenk brings up nothing but Obama and Hillary advisors surrounding her. It's like, oh, that was a mistake. These are not mistakes, man. <laughs> these are not mistakes. I'm tired of people putting it in that context. Like, oh, these mistakes just happen over and over again. It's like the Iowa fucking coin toss. It's like, man, it seems like Bernie loses every coin toss he's in. <laughs> Every time, like, if it was just, you know, coincidence, there'd be a lot less context of something shitty happening. But there's always that shitty context around. So, in regards to a mistake, like, oh, oops. The, the evidence doesn't seem to lean towards mistake. Just put it that way. Let's continue with uh, Good Cop, Bad Cop. Understandably and justifiably angry at her for this. 
Anna, it doesn't matter. We got to get past. Uh, no, I get it. But what you what you're not understanding is Bernie supporters are not happy with what she's doing right now. So what makes you think that Biden choosing her as the running mate is going to somehow miraculously unite the party? I don't think that's going to happen at all. No, no. It's like I don't think if people see Bernie supporters, the ones I see at least, like on social media and all that, if they see Biden's name there, they're not voting for it. Straight up. Unless it's like, you know, he's VP to Bernie or something. But yeah, wouldn't expect Bernie Sanders to be the, the vice president of Biden or Biden be the vice president of Sanders. So when they see Biden's name, they're like, no. And in fact, if Biden picked Elizabeth Warren as vice president and she accepted, that would just give them more evidence for what they were probably already suspecting. But oh, she's a fuck face. Got it. This just confirms it. She did all the shilling and all the creepy shit she did during the election to hurt Bernie Sanders so that she can get a vice presidential slot or a cabinet slot. Right? That would push, that would give them more evidence for that. It wouldn't be like, oh my God, we got a progressive in there. We can vote for Biden now. Now, as I told you before, like, this is all strategy to win against Donald Trump. And it's hard for me. It's very difficult for me to believe that this dude, Jank Uger, is, it, he truly just believes this. He truly believes that Donald Trump is the mother of all evil and he has to go. Yet he runs a news show that, you know, I hope they talk about the problems of the Democratic Party. Actually, they do when it's strategically, you know, uh, advantageous for them, right? When it's Bernie running against these guys, now they're all corporate shill Democrats. But when it's not Bernie's race and they're just going after uh, Republicans or going after Trump, it's like, yeah, Nancy Pelosi just scorched Donald Trump. Impeach the mother effer. Sir. <laughs> right? Doesn't it seem like that? Uh, whatever, let's let's play more. No, it's not about miraculously uniting the party. It, it partly is, but it's certainly not miraculously. But Anna, look at this. Okay, so a couple of things. So, what are you uniting the party for? What do you mean uniting? Like, who's? What are the sides of the party that you're you're uniting? Is it the voter base? Is it the creepy politicians that the voter base voted for in the first place? I don't. I don't get it. What's uniting here? I thought these dudes were corrupt. Get money out of politics, bro. They take corporate money, bro. Isn't that a, a notion of corruption there? That they take bribes and then they, they, uh, you know, they make their policy based off of who's paying them money, right? I thought that was the thing. So why are you uniting with them? <laughs> I hope it's not this, no offense to this person, but this is one of the dumbest ideas I've ever heard. Joe Biden as an empty vessel that we can, we can shift him, shift his policies towards this. And it's like, fuck. That's, yeah. That's three things to me. That's like either... You're <laughs> either you're you're a part of the quote unquote establishment or like you're really that dumb or you are extremely gullible. Right? Then we just watch a debate where the guy was proven liar, just proven lied to the entire fucking nation. Like we have videos of this of you saying this. No. It wasn't me. I I was not the guy. It wasn't me. I'm the guy who fought that guy. That's not me. Fucking buggy eyed. Anyways, let's play this one. So, uh, I said Elizabeth Warren should have endorsed Bernie uh, this time around as soon as she dropped out. I said she should have endorsed Bernie last time around. Uh, of course, I was right. Not just ideologically, but politically. Because. Of course you were right. 
maybe you <laughs> maybe you continuously hanging on to Elizabeth Warren, maybe that was wrong. But if you're only thinking in like what would help Elizabeth Warren out? Is that your thinking? Because I knew was, there's a decent amount of supporters of Bernie Sanders that did not like that person. They do not like Elizabeth Warren before any of the fuckery happened. They only they only liked her for like strategical purposes. Like, yeah, she backed Bernie up uh, when when they started arguing about Medicare for all. Yeah. But other than that, it wasn't like, yeah, she's my number one choice. Or she's a close number two. Oh no, what did I do? Oh, I clipped the video. My bad. Oh no, it's okay. Sanders. Progressives would be rooting for her more, right? Yeah, and yeah, of course I was right. Not just ideologically, <laughs> but politically. Because right now, if she had endorsed Bernie Sanders, progressives would be rooting for her more. Right? And and it would unite the party. So that was yet another mistake by the Warren team. Uh, How would that, quote-unquote, unite the... I don't understand. What are you uni uniting with? I don't get it. I really do not get that shit. Her endorsing Bernie Sanders would have united the party. Are you saying, like, she attracts more moderates? So that means they'll all rally around Joe Biden. I don't know, why do you want those voters anyways? Why do you want these people here? I don't get it. That's straight up Democratic Party talking points. If he's not a shill, he fucking quacks like one. How about that? We need to unite the party. The fuck does that mean? We need a... Uh, we need Nancy Pelosi hand in hand with with uh, AOC. <laughs> they were, I thought they were corrupt people that took money. Actually, he did. A, I think he did a video talking about uh, his his congressional race, which he lost. Right? He spent all that time scorching this lady over the money she takes or the corrupt shit she's done, and she won't she won't be helping for progress at all. And then once he loses, he endorses her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, but uh, but the Republican, that is, that is old style uh, politics that I thought people were trying to get rid of. I thought they were trying to get rid of the left right paradigm, of you know blue good red bad. That's what this sounds like. But look, they both take money, but the Republican takes a little more. Vote them out. Come on. It's like, do you guys not see that it'll just continuously happen over and over again until you say no? <laughs> until you say no more of this. Yeah, whatever. Before, I don't take any pride in, in saying I was right. It's unfortunate that I was right, but it's but we're past that. You have to you have to move on. You have to move on. So in terms of the picks that are re realistic for Biden right now. Warren is as good as it's going to get for progressives. They're not going to pick Bernie's. Just strategically speaking, isn't her value devalued now because she accepted a vice president's vice president seat under Joe Biden? The liar. <laughs> right? All the things that you th that Jenk thinks will that Elizabeth Warren will bring to the table all of a sudden are now devalued because you accepted a Joe Biden vice presidency you accepted it and all the shit that happened before that would make people think like oh she's w this was the plan the whole time get bernie out elizabeth you help out with that and you'll get a you'll get a cabinet seat you'll get some power yourself so yeah uh, he should just tap out and let anna run the show she'll she'll keep more people around than this motherfucker would He's losing people every time he opens his fucking mouth. Sanders, Just saying, strategically Turner. speaking. The only prayer we have is Elizabeth Warren. Otherwise, you're talking about Klobuchar, Kamala Harris, some other person that is going to be Establishment 101, and we don't have any prayer at all of influencing uh, this administration, the direction they're going, and bringing enough progressives over 
to actually win the election. Oh, okay. I was expecting more of that. Either that or I was staring at DDP. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, is this, is this DQ or non-DQ? Oh, wait, triple threat. Size. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, well, there it is. Like I said, if it, if he's just honestly this way, like you sound exactly like someone working for the Democratic Party sounds. They, oh, we lost, we, we aim for revolution. We lost. Okay. Uh, well, the, the Republicans are right over there. We need to fight them. Right? Don't pay attention over here. Now we need to forgive everyone. All the shit I talked about, about Joe Biden, about all these fucking characters. You need to throw that out the window and vote blue, no matter what. No matter who the fuck it is. Even if their policies are the exact same as the Republican person's. It's like, seriously, I think people are that dumb. To where, I'm not saying they are the same. I'm saying if they just put one picture of Biden, one picture of Trump, and just laid out policies, and it just said the exact same thing, word for word, people would be like, well, no, there's got to be some difference. Uh, Biden, he's not not racist. You know, Biden smiles, you know. He he can't be racist. He was Obama's uh, vice president. Come on. (laughs) They'll make something up to pick one team over the other. And, uh... Ignore what these people actually do. Because <laughs> it's not about corruption. They're just they're just ignorant. That's all. They just make mistakes. So, yeah. So if people thought that this dude would change his tune after the whole Hillary thing, <laughs> it's like, nope. Like, revolution can wait another four years, man. Come on. Vote Biden. We need a solid pro- progressive TM to be a vice president to unite the party. I can't tell you who we're uniting with because then I have to explain all the corruption again. But uh, it's united somehow. <laughs> all right, that's it for me. Please subscribe if you like, comment, agree, disagree. Tell me what you think. Is Jenk right here? Is he? Uh, he's working for our best interests here to uh, unite the Democratic Party to. Yeah, to uh, fix everything because uh, Donald Trump is so terrible. <laughs> Simultaneously, right now, there's a Jimmy Dore live stream saying Demo- saying Donald Trump is behaving to the left of Democrats. So I wonder what he says there. But he also, I, th- I think uh, people might consider him a, a crazy conspiracy theorist. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, whoa. It's like, I don't think Jimmy goes far enough. But, uh, you know. And, of course, I'll have a discussion with anyone. They can tell me what conspiracy theories have uh, gone on here. And then it shows, oh, oh, you know nothing about geopolitics. Gotcha. You've been watching TYT too long. <laughs> That's right, Libya. That's right. Uh, don't forget to donate Devin's Journey to Recovery. Go find me link. In the description box. And with all that said, give this video a thumbs down. Say you wanna get him.